Hey, welcome to another Flights with Joel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to find flamingos or other animals in Flight Simulator 2020, or what they call fauna. Now, I always thought fauna was trees and stuff, but that's what the simulator calls it. All right, so how to find animals in Flight Simulator 2020. I think that was someone's question. I wasn't quite clear. But this has to do with the post that I posted on one of the Facebook groups. And how did I find the flamingos? So what you do to find animals is they call it fauna and points of interest. So you, these are all the different points of interest. I'm going to do the one that I just did with the flamingos because I know that it's close. I actually tried another one, I think it was Cochran flamingos, and I couldn't find them. Could not find them at all. So O'Higgins flamingos I was able to find. Here they are. I'm going to set that as a rival. So there will be some guidance for me. Then I'm going to go to the nearest airport, which is this cool little field in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to set that as my departure. I am in the Cessna 172. Now if I wanted to be cold and dark, I could set my departure just off the airport. So I could zoom all the way into the airport and I could set it over here or somewhere else and then it would not be running. I'm okay with not doing a start every time. So the O'Higgins Flamingos, Rio Pasca, they are in where? Where are they? Somewhere down here. Um, oh, back up a little bit. So I am somewhere I believe in South America. I'm going to adjust the time so I can see when I get out. Um, yeah, Rio. If anyone knows where that is in the world, because I really don't. I'm not really sure. It's deep, deep South America. I think it's Argentina. I'm not 100% sure. And of course, it doesn't tell me. So it's only 11 miles away. It's almost directly west. You'll see when we start. There are some mountains in the way, so fly. And we wait a minute. I have track IFR on, and there are two problems here. First, I'm going to straighten out the track. There we go. So there are two big problems. One, the weather is such that I couldn't possibly find flamingos. So I am going to hit ready to fly. Turn my volume so I can hear something out of my engines and I'm gonna have to adjust things unfortunately here I am this cool little airport let's go here there we go and there's no way I would find flamingos in this so I'm gonna have to make some adjustments bummer bummer real weather's not going to work let's see if I can adjust without a crash I want to make about an hour earlier and I want to change the weather to, you know, this kind of messes everything up. I'll say broken clouds. There we go. Now, even this is going to be a challenge. I'm going to try that. Yeah, I can get through that. Absolutely. I'm at a small airport deep in South America to find flamingos. Someone asked me about this on a forum, so I think this is what they were asking. Not 100% sure. I have track IR on. I will try not to move too fast. And so, first off, I'm going to release the e-brake. I'm going to give it a little power even as I'm sitting here. That caution light is because my RPMs were too low, and I think that's pretty cool. Another thing I noticed that they have some written, I believe these are compass corrections right here. They have them written in. I've never noticed that before. I thought that's pretty cool. So I don't need any flaps or anything to take off from here. I do need a yoke. And I have, and it should, I have plenty of room. Should be fine. Let's go find flamingos. Oh, so what I was pointing out is I've routed it so it's not on my GPS but it is right here on this indicator it's telling me where they are 
as I say, they're only about 10 miles out, so I do have my markers on for fauna. Nothing else, because I don't want to see airports and everything else. And here we go. Bring up the power. I'm easing back on the yoke. A little more. Get that front wheel off. It's a soft feel. Hold it. Wait for it to take off. There it is. The nose come down to pick up airspeed. It's soft fuel. And then it's got enough airspeed. Because it's a 172. Nobody's on board. Nice and light. So this is indicating for me to fly straight into that mountain over there. But I'm going to go around it because I did this before and I know where they are. The clouds look like I want about a thousand feet, maybe less. Might be flying through a couple clouds. Good thing I have this uh, enhanced vision on the G. Is it a 1000, 3000? Is this Garmin? It's a G1000. But anyway. So that's about the climb speed you want. I want to get you just a little higher. That's pretty good. Once I get around these mountains enough so I can get over this, over them at this altitude. Yeah, now I just I kind of watch the tachometer, and it's white, which means it's in the cautionary area. I'm probably not going to use the autopilot. I just pull it back a little bit so I can keep it up. There we go. Let's get over as fast as I can so I don't bore people to death. Headed for the flamingos. Yeah. So rather than go all the way around this mountain and bore people to death, I have clearance. There's enough cloud clearance. I can just go right in here. And it's more fun. trim because the power alone should give me a nice climb. And that's really high enough.
and there are my flamingos. Okay, so I had the uh, tags set for fauna. Markers. Airport markers are off. Everything else is off. I do have them set for fauna, and I have some wind, but not a lot. So we're almost there. Start my descent, because I don't think they're at 1,500 feet. around here. Pretty beautiful area. And unfortunately you don't see the flamingos until you are right on top of them. So those labels are pretty important if you want to see it. It's really hard to find them without the labels. But, you know, try it. Try it if you have a good idea where you're going. And you can see that my navigation is off. If I just followed that navigation, I would find them. But we're coming up to them. I gotta pretty much fly into them before you're gonna see anything. Actually, it looks like it's raining out there. I don't think it is. Strange stuff happening on the uh, front, the aircraft. Here they are, almost. And flamingos. There we go. Unfortunately, you can't hit them and they won't do any damage. I know everyone, at least half of you, are saying, why, oh, they should hit the aircraft, oh, they should hit your windows, you crack it. I mean, that would be cool. But right now, you can just look at them, enjoy them. Come on, they never existed in other flight sims. Not, not like this, not animated like this. down a little. Get to slow down. So we have a little more time with them. There they are. Flamingos. So that 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 is how you find all the different animals in Flight Simulator 2020. I am now going to go do a uh, off airport landing just for fun. You can stick around for that one more pass through the flamingos. This will do some slow flight through the flamingos. So flo slow flight. Uh, you don't need carb heat in this one. Slowly drop the flaps. Can't see the flap indicator with that in the way. There we go. Another degree of flaps. Oops, now see my little button stick. So now I have full flaps. Back up to the bottom of the green and I should just be able to fly at this speed. Oh, that's a little fast. Bring it back. Look at that. Yes! <laughs> that. That is awesome. 
<laughs> it's really fun. Uh, and I'm all set up for an off airport landing. I'm all set. So I know there's a spot over here because I did it. The tricky part is the trees appear out of nowhere because that's how they are able to do all this incredible scenery uh, and still make it run on what on a mid-level PC, which is what I consider this PC. The specs are in the description, but this was a high-level PC, you know, six months ago. Not anymore! Oh, see, I'm too fast. I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm fast. There we go. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. grass would actually stop. <laughs> that grass would have stopped me pretty quick. But So, in the semi break, again, thanks for flying along. Check out all the flights with Joel on my YouTube channel. Let's go to the playlist Flights with Joel. And yeah, happy flying. <laughs>